How does that work out? Huh? You must be tired. You need some water, Mickey. Good job, Mickey. Alexa, what's the temperature today? Right now, it's minus 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 8 degrees. Alexa, that's very cold. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Mickey, you want to see the window? Yeah? You want to see how cold it is outside? Guess what guys, current temperature, minus 6, that's right, minus 6 guys, and we're expected to reach minus 10, probably with the wind chills, it can go down to minus 15, yes, some of you guys were asking, why don't you take her out, give her a walk, it's been like this for a few days now, almost a week, Cold, dreaded cold. Oh my goodness. So we tried to take Mickey out the other day. It was around 28 degrees. She went outside for about five minutes and she wanted back inside right away. Mickey couldn't handle the cold weather. She tried. She's just not into the cold weather. And because like she's Mickey's of course is a, a smaller shih tzu than normal. Mickey's under, Mickey's like technically right now 8.8 .8 pounds. So she's under nine pounds. So she's a more of a smaller shih tzu. And uh, yeah, the cold weather is not something that she really loves. It's Mickey's uh, pajamas. The pajamas will uh, definitely help her keep her warm during this cold weather. The polar vortex from Canada is coming down to North America, so technically the entire United States is completely, uh, I guess, is freezing or below freezing. So everyone's affected right now. Extremely cold weather. Okay, I'm gonna crack two eggs. Up. Just a little bit of uh, her grind dog food. I like it. The only reason why I add a little bit of uh, dog food is just because I don't think one egg is enough for her. So adding one and some dog food would just, you know, um, make her feel more fulfilling for her meal. Just gonna mix it up really quick. Nutrition value for we'll puppy food at the same time. Put it on some here, maybe that last drop of it, and then put 
always best to cook with a non-stick pan. If you don't have a non-stick pan, just make sure to keep stirring it. I'm cooking the scrambled eggs with no oil. And this would be her morning breakfast. Chop this up really quick for her. Should be done. Breakfast is ready. You smell the eggs? You smell the scrambled eggs? Want me to go eat? Okay. Scrambled eggs, Mickey. Are you ready? Let's eat. Does your dog do that too? Lay flat on the ground and then take little bites and then eat? Mickey. You can't stand up? Come on, you can't be that lazy now. Yeah, good job, Mickey. You finished it, Mickey. Sometimes Mickey needs to be hand fed, but I mean, usually with scrambled eggs, she never really needs to be hand fed. I'm surprised that she does today. Uh, maybe the scrambled eggs got too cold. That could be it too. Usually, when we serve her scrambled eggs, uh, we let it cool down for a little bit, and then once it's room temperature, we give it to her. So, but most importantly, you finished it, Mickey. Good job. So, we just bought this ramp. It's a pup ramp, it's a puppy ramp, it's a doggy ramp. Basically, it's made for her to go up to the couch. Mickey always likes to jump on top of the couch. Sometimes she dumb jumps down. And you know what? Dogs, puppies can hurt themselves. They can, you know, dislocate uh, a hip, you know, break a bone. I saw this on Facebook all the time. It made me wonder. Why didn't I get a dog ramp? So I searched everywhere. I found a place called Alpha Paw that makes this. And uh, you know what? We had this for about two weeks now. So far, so good, Mickey. It works really well. Mickey, ready? Go! Okay, that didn't work right. <laughs> but it beats the purpose of jumping straight from the couch. If it's, she'll go down a little bit and then jump or she'll go all the way down and then jump there we go Mickey go Mickey nope over here Mickey put it over there Mickey over there over there Mickey and that's how it works so yeah she doesn't have to like jump completely up just go straight to the ramp it's actually very perfect you can actually put this in your bedroom too if you want that room works really well but we prefer the couch because this, the couch area, this living room area, is where she is all, all the time. So, that works out. But she's still learning. So this is the uh, new store I'm going to be working at. It's a tea shop. And I'm here for training purposes. And we're expecting the grand opening next week. I'll give you guys the details. If you guys are in Illinois and want to come visit me, I'll be working here soon. I was going to bring Mickey here, but fortunately it's way too cold outside. We're talking about minus six degrees outside, so it's pretty damn hot outside. Just got done with uh, today's training. Uh, I was here for a few hours, uh, afternoon to evening hours, and uh, got some drinks done. I actually learned a lot today. So uh, I'll be probably starting a new job very soon. 
I'm very happy about it though. So as a, cause I always love making tea drinks and smoothies and slushes. So it's a pretty cool place to actually go visit one day. Time to go home and see what Mickey's doing. It's minus five degrees right now. It is cold. Hi Mickey. Guess what? I'm home. You miss me? Oh. How you doing, Mickey? Go play sandals. The sandals. Sandal. Ready? Go. Cool. Oh, sandals. Sandals. Let's go. Go. Cool. Oops. Mickey. You like your uh, little porcupine guy? Guess what? Guess we haven't do for a while. It's been a long time. You know what that is, right? Okay. Yum soy. Yum soy is Chinese for drinking water, Mickey. Yum soy, yeah? Drink water. Stay hydrated. So Mickey just had a workout. She's well. Hey, thank you, Mickey. Want to say goodbye to your viewers? Goodbye. Mm -hmm. So I'll go take uh, her little beauty sleep now. Good night. Sweet dreams, Mickey. Bye bye.